hello what's up guys uh, welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video i am just uh, giving you the idea that what generics are what generics classes and because uh, in dart programming language and in any kind of object oriented programming language uh, you uh, you have to use these generics um, as per the requirements and somewhere and to make your code clean as well and uh, to make a better understanding that what generics uh, and how you can use them inside your application as you can see in this example we have uh, the stateful widget class so for stateful widget we have to define two classes one is for uh, the particular widget which we are denoting and other class is uh, the second one is representing the state of our particular class so inside that state we have we, as you can see we defined the generics that um, this state is particularly for our this class or this widget so to understand how generics work uh, in general I have uh, created this example so uh, this is this is a very basic example and uh, in a quick time you can uh, learn how you can define your own generics as well so in this uh, as you can see on the screen we have uh, some slots circular slots and inside those slots this man is trying to put some square box so uh, it is obvious that inside the circular slots we cannot put the square boxes for square boxes we have to be uh, the slot should be of square type and for circular the a box should be of circular type so as you can see um, by taking this example you will have the idea that how generics are working so I have created this particular example as you can see that we have two classes let's say circle and square and we have a class slot and slot has an insert method so if you want to put the circle inside that slot let me create create the object of that particular slot let's say we'll use final uh, slot is equal to slot and we will create the object for this slot and slot that we will call insert method and for insert method we have to put some circular slot like that so if you try to put here square slot it won't let us happen because it's saying that the argument type square cannot be assigned to a parameter type circle so one solution could be that you can create you can name this slot as as circle slot and you can pass that circle inside and you can name it like that and you have to pass circle slot inside it and you can create another class which would be a square slot like that and it ha also has insert method and inside that insert method you have to uh, accept the square slots like that so now if you will call final um, let's say sq slot equals to square slot and now if you sq slot dot insert if you call this method now you can put square slot sorry just the square now as you can see the error has been gone but this is not a right solution because every for every shape you have to create a separate slot or maybe if you are not creating this slot you have to define your insert method like that if you define your insert circle like that and you can define something like insert square then also you would also define every type of shape here as a method as well so this is not the accurate solution so what the best practice would be so in um, object oriented programming we have something like generics so for slot we can remove that code like here so for slot we just need to remove this circle particular here as well so we just have to define the generics 
so how you could define generic after your class name you have to define the less than and greater than sign and you can define t here as like that and inside your insert circle you can just accept this t and name it a generic like shape so any type of now the slot class is saying that any type of shape if you want to put here it will accept here let me remove this circle as well so now our slot class is generic and we can put any kind of shape here like if we will have class rect and something like that it will has class triangle so for any kind of shape we can use this single slot and we can use this as generic so how you would implement it let's say final um, circle now you need to define a separate object we will call this like that and now as a generic you have to define here that which type of shape you are using inside this slot class so we will define circle slot so now if you you if you will call circle slot dot insert method so our method and class is now generic and uh, it is a much more efficient way to use this slot class instead of creating separate slot class for each of these shapes so now inside insert method we will just call circle like that so now this slot class will accept the circle shape as well and if we will uh, let's say final uh, square slot now you have to define each separate objects for the same class but that class can be generic for each kind of shape like that so for slot of um, let's say square you need to call that uh, square slot dot insert and now you can pass square like that so this is very simple and inside that slot class if let's say if we will define two string method and uh, we will just uh, let's say return dollar sign and our t the generic type so if you will call that here circle slot dot to string and we will wrap that inside print statement and let's say what result we got and we will copy that and we will call this same for square slot dot to string and now if we will hit save and run there as you can see here circle slot is printing the circle thing for the same insert method the generic type is uh, shape is circle and here square slot is printing the square thing here and up to so on if you want to uh, give any type of shape in this slot it will accept that triangle we will replace this triangle and now you can pass triangle object here and we will just printing out this and if you run oh what's the problem we have a slot insert triangle okay there is no problem here let me run that again okay so we have a slot of triangle the spelling is correct okay so we are calling this square slot here as I have copied that code so we should call this triangle slot so as you can see the generic class is now acting as a single class and we can create multiple objects for each kind of shape we want to uh, put in so that is that is the basic idea that how you can define your own generic classes and you can use all those inside your code as well so this is very simple so thanks for watching in the next video i will come up with more exciting topics as well 
you um, please comment down below that what kind of ideas and topics you want me to make tutorials on especially on dart and flutter so stay tuned guys bye bye